He missed her greatly, Bella, and her warm smile and laugh. He passed the night with fright in a bottle full of Sangiovese in 97 from San Miguel, then prepared tea to wash it down and left the burner lit while he crashed on the couch, the door wide open and woke to the broken glass of the pot simmering in the daylight, and Jose in the apartment fixing the heat, awake with wide eyes in the morning. Raccoon stretched and clawed the couch on his passing out again. His desire to get to the salt of the mystery was almost Faustian. He could almost sell his soul to know. Nights he threw the deadbolt into the wood, hollowed for it. He kept himself at bay with a broom, made the city country again and again, to the sound of straw brushing dust along the grain of the hardwood floor, the circular motion in his wrists, the return to summer times in a cool and dark cabin at the head of a pine grove, reclining Ed side of a tremendous lake the Native Americans dubbed Smile of the Great Spirit. Raccoon was taken as well and watched him sweep out the apartment in a trance while the straw bundled and spread at the ends of the broom to ease the pressure and brushed up against her fur. She ran a safe distance away and lay down again to watch and watched from a distance, and the broom came closer, and she waited in a trance, like him. They waited for him to work out his pining against the mystery.